Beatrice Hill Tinsley was key in us understanding the universe as it is today. Before her, there were theories, there were observations. After Beatrice Tinsley, there is almost like this unified understanding of what is happening out there in the, in the sky. I would consider her of, of the caliber of probably Einstein or Newton, so she's one of the giants. Beatrice always loved brains. She always fell in love with the brains of the people. It was there where she fell in love with her husband, Brian. Then she was seen as being the wife of Brian Tinsley for very many years, even though she was an independent scientist. There were a few friends of Beatrice that suggested they would move to the United States because there would be more opportunities there for both her and her husband. She actually finished her PhD with the writing and everything in less than two years. She was the first that figured out that galaxies can evolve just like stars. They can be born, they can evolve, grow, die, just like we talk about stars and just like we talk about humans as well. It's a huge honor to have an asteroid named after after them because it's like it's your right to immortality. You're out there in the sky forever. She was so good that there was no distinction higher for Beatrice. She was that much of a genius. Everybody who was around her was inspired by her drive, by her, by her love for stars. She died when she was 40 years old and she lived so intensely. She burned in this fire called astronomy, called cosmology, called the universe, trying to understand those secrets, those treasures that are there for, for herself and for us, for all of us, for humankind.